Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Yuri the Ghoul, and today I was uh, scrolling through Twitter. And as I was scrolling through Twitter, a post came up, and the post that came up was a post from a content creator that goes by the name of Whittlebears. Uh, Whittlebears says, Lol, nothing drives me more, uh, nuts more, than someone who isn't a regular in your chat coming in with, I had a shitty day, or some other depressing ass shit. I'm always loud dancing screaming vibing out and if you're coming into my chat with trauma dumping i'm going to politely ask you to use my discord to reach out i'm not a therapist and i've had a lot of people use sad stories to get closer to me i don't have the energy anymore and uh yeah after reading that post i went through the the comment section you know a lot of people that were in grants and uh you know some people weren't and uh i've wanted to make a, a video on this for a while and uh, so i thought i'd make a video on it now uh especially when that uh, popped up in my um, in my feed and uh, first things first, just like you as a viewer are a human being and you have problems, you have things that you're going through, so does the streamer. And just like the streamer has the, has problems as well and things that they're going through, everybody else within the community or the people watching the channel, guess what? They're going through something as well. And we often use, con use content creation and um, building of a community to build a place that is um, sort of like an escape from the day-to-day -day bullshit that, uh, you know, normally everybody goes through whether it's relationships uh you know domestic shit going on um you know work life work culture you know just the, you know the struggles of being a human being and trying to provide for your family and and whatever it might be or even deeper shit and you're actually going through some uh through some um tougher times you know grief or you know mental illness or whatever it might be and uh you know a lot of people are you know going through these uh through, through these things and going through these ebbs and flows and you know trials and tribulations through through life and these communities in which we're streaming in and as a streamer trying to provide the right kind of vibe where everybody's happy and everybody's having a good time is an incredibly hard balance to um to maintain so when you have people come in and people come in trauma dumping and usually it's within the first sentence too it isn't even like hey Yuri, how you doing or how's the stream been none of that Usually it's like, um, oh, hey, Yuri. Oh, how hey, you doing? Uh, you know, having a shitty day, let's say. And it's like, okay, you know, oh, I'm sorry, Sammy Boy 101. I, you know, I'm sorry to hear that you're going through that. Uh, hopefully you can hang out with me and the rest of the ghoul gang and, you know, have a good time over here. And we can lift that vibe up. Do you play Diablo? Oh, no, nah, Yuri, it's, it's not going to happen like that, man. Like, I'm, I'm, you know, nothing can, you know, take my mind of what I'm going through. Like, I'm, I'm going through some shit. And it's like, okay, well then, um, so like, if I, if I can't take your mind off it, then, you know, like, is there somebody you can call? Like, whatever. And now the conversation's focused on that person, by the way. So everybody else in the chat and all the vibe and everything that was going on is now, you know, no longer having that vibe and uh, able to get that energy from the stream. And it's now about this one person, right? Um, which is fine to an extent until it goes too far. And when it goes too far, the vibe is dead. Usually when you have a community of people and those people hang out and they get to know you and they know who you are, you know, they will reach out and they'll ask for help. Uh, but when you come into a stream as a, as a brand new person and you trauma dump, um, it's like walking up to a stranger and, you know, saying, you know, just trauma dumping, you know. I've had people say fucking horrific stories to me. You know, I'm um, playing games. They're talking about, you know, a fa family stuff going on, you know, of the sexual kind and all, all this kind of crazy shit. And I'm like, I'm just trying to be over here playing video games, having a good time in my community, talking about life, talking about whatever. You know, and then it's, the conversation is now absolutely just derailed. So, yeah, I think that between viewership, uh, viewer and um, creator, I think that, you know, um, we've allowed things to become too parasocial. We've allowed things to become um, too too clicky uh, in a lot of ways. I feel like a lot of people want those kind of communities, and there are communities out there for those people. Uh, but I feel like there's a um, kind of an, an, ex uh, an expectation of uh, every streamer to have that kind of style of stream uh, where everything's like a safe space, and you know, tell me you you know, show me your skeletons in your closet. Um, and yeah, I don't think every stream has to be run like that. I don't know every, I don't think every community has to be run like that. Um, although streaming is a unique thing because it's a live interaction and a live, um, you know, back and forth between you and your community, which is a beautiful thing. I think there still needs to be lines within, um, this, you know, lines drawn in the sand and there has to be rules within place and there has to be, you know, guidelines within those channels. 
and it's just how it is and i think that when you get those when you get certain people out of the community that are very very trauma dumpy like like to trauma dump and, and always bring down the mood you know when you have less of those people in your community you end up having more people that are bringing a more energetic and positive vibe you know it doesn't mean that you know you're not going through shit but guess what we're all going through shit and this is what we've found to bring peace to our lives so that's my opinion about it it doesn't mean you're heartless doesn't mean you're stone cold it just means you know you're trying to operate this um this thing that you love and you're trying to keep it on on the tracks and you're trying to keep your community and the vibe going and um protect the vibe and remember if it ain't cool it ain't cool thanks for watching